Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and for the new ones, my name is Distill Noise and I make minimal house music and videos on YouTube. Happy New Year everybody, hopefully. And I'm here to showcase a new plugin by Loop Cloud, which is actually sponsoring this video. Uh, the plugin is called Loop Cloud Drum and it's a drum sequencer which I tried out and found very, very useful for creating drums and percussion grooves. Uh, I've been actually using it in my latest track, so I'm happy to, to show you how you can use it and what I found interesting about that plugin. It's been out for a while, but they just released a new update where uh, they added some, some cool features, so it's worth talking about it. So, let's get into it. So the plugin for Loop Cloud Drum comes with the subscription and installation of Loop Cloud software, main software. Now let's open the plugin. As you can see, it's a drum sequencer and drum pod. Here you have 16 drum pods, everyone loaded with uh, one percussion sample. Then you have the control on the sample and on the sample tuning and envelope and the effects here. And then you have the sequencer part that of course you can build, you can modify. Uh, the sequencer is pretty intu intuitive. You can have up to eight different sequences that you can put together one after the other. Then you have the mixer part, very simple. You mix the sound, you control the effects. If you want to go deeper on all these functions of the sequencer, the sample control and so on, you can just take a look at Loop Cloud Instagram. They have uh, many videos where they explain uh, step by step all the functions, which is really interesting. In this case, I want to show you uh, my approach to this to this plugin, what are the new features and how I use it. So this is a pack that I've already purchased, but if you want to purchase new pack or look at the ones that you have, you just click here and it opens up this window. So these are my purchased pack, packs plus the Loop Cloud Welcome Pack that you already have on. Then you have some starter kits that are pre-made kits just for starting and then the store. So in the store you, you can see many kits. They are not so many. I mean, there are way more sample packs on Loop Cloud right now, but they are growing, so they keep adding them, and so it's a growing library. I think in, in the next months we'll see this, this library growing a lot. Uh, what I did uh, when I did my, my, my latest track it was to look for a pack of acoustic sounds because I wanted to create a sort of background for my track. So you can pick the genre that you're looking for, for example, jazz or word or India, for example. You can uh, demo the sounds. <laughs> Okay, for example, this Latin, you can see here, it comes with three different presets and for every presets you have uh, different samples and a different sequence. So you have a pre-made sequence. You can also choose to load just the pattern uh, without loading the settings if you have already your settings and so on or not loading the pattern. For now, I want to load every one of them, so I'll buy the pack and then I can load it. This is synced to the BPM when you release it. Cool, cool. In this case, I want to start from a pack that I've already listened to and I know it contains some, some, some cool stuff that gave me some ideas. And that's the Real Drums Chess Drums, which I already bought a few days ago. And this preset is insane. So I will load this, and this is already giving me an idea for something. Now that I loaded a drum kit that I like and that gave me some ideas for my track, let's see the second very cool feature about this plugin, which is the export section. I can export the mix down so I can render to audio the sequence and have just a drum loop that I can use in my track 
or I can even have more uh, freedom by exporting the MIDI sequence and then exporting the single sounds. I want to have the freedom to change the sequence while I'm arranging the track, for example. You can do that. You, you can export the mix down, as I told you. So in this case, you will be able to export just the audio, exactly what we were hearing from the plugin. Or you can export the MIDI sequence, which is my favorite part. And then comes the second part of this exporting uh, procedure, which is exporting samples. So for samples, you can export the original samples, so without effects and without um, the envelope adjustments and tuning adjustments. Uh, and to do that, you just click on, for example, you, you select the pod, kick, and you say, show in loop cloud, it will show you and you can export this and you have your kick. But that's not what I want to do. I want to export the sounds already uh, affected by the effects that they put in the, in the preset. So I will press render on every single pod and it will render them to audio. Then I'll create a drum rack here on my MIDI track. And now I can import every single sound in the drum pod, in the 16 pods, and they are exactly in the same place as these pods on the, on the plugin. And now I have my drum rack with all the samples from the Loop Cloud drum, where I can put my adjustments with my simpler. And now that I have adjusted some of the volumes, the velocities, I have a sequence that I like and that I can start working on. For example, if I want to add something on my hi-hat, Now the third feature that I want to show you is the randomizer on the Loop Cloud drum. So I will create another MIDI track with the Loop Cloud drum plugin. I will load um, some of the purchased packs that I have. So for example, the Indian, for example, this one, load. I will use the sequence just as a starting point because what you can do now, if you press on pod, you can see you have this dice and this is the randomizer. So if you press it, basically it starts looking for a new sample that could be both uh, from the drum kits or from your Loop Cloud library. If I go into Loop Cloud, as you can see here, you have your Loop Cloud library with all the samples that you bought from Loop Cloud based on the tags that are set here in the search refiner, let's call it, uh, it will look up from them in the in the sample library. So if I take out India, for example, it will look for every genre. So let's randomize. He bring one from Latin American, or now it's from the TIJN. What you can do is select all pods. When you select all pods, uh, remember to click here and clear selection. So basically it takes out all the tags from the genre. Okay, so I like this. And we have some sounds where I want to take out, for example, this one. Could be could seem a little bit confused, but you start if you start muting the sounds which are not so right for the track that you're making. So let's try to refine this a little bit more. I should have done this removing all these tags, and so it will it would have looked up for something different. So let's try it only for this part, for example. Let's try again. Okay, so we have a, pot, a plop, so maybe this could be interesting. Uh, I will move this on the down beats. Okay.
Alright guys, so that's what I like most about Loop Cloud Drum. I hope you saw something that it's worth checking out for you. And if you want, you find the link to Loop Cloud in the description. Also, I want to shout out a Loop Cloud for keep making things for us producers. This idea of making plugins other than only sample packs is very, very forward looking for me. And so I am proud to be a supporter of Loop Cloud. And guys, thanks for thank you for blah, 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 blah. thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.